Echo 776, full maximum Echo 147. We should probably debrief on it, to be honest. The right thing to do here is that we should debrief and figure out what the hell happened. Oh my god. 317, there's a car accident here uh, on southbound Elgin. Uh, we need 52s here, southbound Elgin, I, right across the street I, I, from... Uh, I don't know. Here. Based on my perspective, it looks circumstantial. Because... Um, 1176. So... Uh, we originally saw the WRX, right? Um, comes back to a Charles Johnson. Uh, that same vehicle was then seen um, down on... Gr so, okay, so that happens, right? And then we got the phone call at the beach. So we go down there and we find the WRX occupied by Randy and uh, Randy, Rami, and two other individuals both of whom we positively ID'd. Um, they were going northbound Great Ocean towards where the call was, which we later found out was where Dr. Choi was. Uh, I have no idea what happened in that last situation. However, we have a dead doctor. Um, someone's going to have to get something written up in regards to this. She's, uh, she's still in surgery. Uh, that's the that's incorrect statement on the radio about her being okay. dead. Oh, Temple. what? Thank you. I just told me she was dead. 495 I, I recommend we meet up at mission row for this because i think we all have a piece of the puzzle so let's go ahead and debrief this is a pretty serious situation of course 3076 if you guys explained everything to me um given that i wasn't involved and in, i'll uh, i'll try to piece together the puzzle hey firm 660 i'm heading for casings from the rooftop where i was shot because my ar was stolen so i think we could so you'll you'll hear in the debrief and we'll let the sergeant decide how we go about this but um right now you can really only say randy so you could pin randy and rami on attempted murder right um you could actually i mean you could probably hold it up based on well the thing is i don't know No, I saw he didn't have a mask on when uh, originally he put the mask on afterwards. What about Chang? Chang had a mask on. So did Chawa. Um, it's going to come down to circumstantial and whether or not the, uh, whether or not we want to push charges on the Choi thing. Uh, you'll find out. Be safe today. Charles didn't have a mask. Yeah, I did. <laughs> There's something about 1038 right in front of Garage G. It's going to be a car uh, crime break, for a motorcycle. Break. No, you're not. You're making your way to Mission Road PD. Okay. Um, he had some shit on his face. He definitely didn't right look there. like Charles to me. Hello. Hey. Right. How's it going? Yeah. Hey, what's on your face? Uh, stitches. Uh, things to help my f skull from caving into itself. Well, what kind of question is <clears> that? <throat> Apologies. I didn't realize. Battle scar, sir. Understood. You don't have to explain yourself. I appreciate that, actually. Wish uh, more people had that mindset. All right. Uh, where is everyone? We've got Vale, I think, on her way. We've got. Someone's still a garage T. A little bit of uh, <clears throat> background uh, to kind of fill you in. Last, uh, I'd say, seven hours on the shift. The first three hours, we had probably some of the most dog shit comms I've ever heard in my life. Uh, that was since, at that point, uh, resolved. Uh, things were cleared up. Things started becoming more operational again. 
Um, while this particular circumstance did not necessarily go in our favor, I do think we acted, I, I think everything leading up to it was done to the best of our abilities. So That's fine. Uh, I've, I've always said being in the police department is, uh, Lennox, thank you for never the about... sub. How do I word this properly? It's not about always hitting your shots. It's about knowing when to shoot. And eh, we go down as a result of not hitting our shots. Well, hey, I knew Life right away on, when I was hopefully. getting on scene that uh, I had to be shooting at somebody because they were shooting at me in a fucking subie immediately. It was quite apparent very quickly when uh, just just becoming about getting like within 100 meters of the, the scene that shit was going to fucking hell real quick. 317, what's your status? Uh, I am 76 to Mission Row right now. All right. Hey, what do you guys think if I started talking like this, huh? It's 195. Why? Why would you? Why would you do that? It's not like <laughs> how you talk, though. I I know this ain't how I talk, but you know, maybe just for like a day, you know. I just want a buck okay, in body on, and different on, persona. Wait, 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 what? Okay, one second. Did you say with a ninety-five? Yep. Sure okay. Did, did you not hear me when I said to break off that and head to Mission Row? I heard you, sir, but, uh, you know, I witnessed a man, uh, adjusting, uh, becoming intoxicated in front of me and then leaving on a motor vehicle, and in good conscience, I cannot allow him to remain on the road, and I do apologize and accept any punishment that is coming my way. Before, that'll be five strike points. Firm. 320, um... Is he, is he completely saying that he's skipping this? Uh, I have no idea. Roads reference report 3740. That's the, that's the initial grounding for the incident. Um... The, the long and short of it is that we searched for a, a good long while after they engaged me there and they left the scene. Uh, we searched for a very good long while and then eventually I think it was... Brian, did you discover them? Yeah, sorry. I was uh, I was sort of half paying attention waiting for... Mal oh, Malton went 42. Okay. <clears throat> sorry, uh, uh, could we start from the top again? Okay, so reference my latest uh, Civ report. Yeah. That's the initial grounding for the situation roads. And, 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 yeah, and, and right, anyone, anyone that wasn't there, mm. yeah. So there's more to be put into that report regarding the initial situation, but essentially, uh, Ziggy, can you pull your phone out and put it away for me? Yeah, do you, do you mind again? if I break it, uh, do you mind if I break it down from uh, beginning to end? Go ahead. Okay, I'll, so, I'll get the report going. As as Vale said, uh, I was uh, so I was I was over in uh, talking to Bailey about something. That's when Vale ran up to me and said, "We're uh, there's a situation taking place." We both ran outside. Doctor Troy was at gunpoint by four masked individuals, whom hopped into a Subaru, I believe, red in color, something along those lines. Yeah. Uh, Comes back to Charles Johnson. Came back to Charles Johnson. We got in a chase. Chase went. Uh, for a good 10, 15 minutes, along with a additional uh, vehicle, two-door black and color uh, muscle car. Uh, chase ensued. We were able to hit that muscle car into a wall uh, and continue the chase with the Subaru. Um, eventually, Smile. the Subaru managed to evade us uh, along with the individual in the muscle car. Um we then went on a island-wide hunt for the location of Dr. Choi. Numerous attempts were made to reach her via phone, but the phone kept sounding like it was being shut off. Uh, best way I can describe it, like it was being hung up uh, for her. Um, we searched for a nearly a, a damn hour, I believe. Uh, the most that came out of it was finding the muscle car abandoned over at the movie studio, uh, but no person in sight. Eventually, we got a 911 call over by the uh, the beachside resort. I uh, don't recall the name. Uh, the Pacific Bluffs. Stating that uh, there was a body um, that seemed to be dead uh, sitting on the beach. Um, I was one of the first units to respond down there, and as we were going down, I saw a Subaru also going northbound uh, towards uh, Pacific Bluffs. I sort of tried to make it seem like I didn't notice it by sort of uh, by continuing to drive one way, and then 
uh, seeing that I, the backup units weren't going to be seeing that this car could have just taken off i decided to pull back a bit run the plates and that's when i noticed that the vehicle once again came back to charles johnson thus putting the individuals inside as suspects i was able to visually confirm that rami al raman and randy bullet were in the driver and passenger seat i believe at the time it was rami driving and randy sitting in the passenger seat uh, i didn't get any visual of of the individuals in the back we only learned about that shortly thereafter um, I called for immediate backup due to the suspicious nature of the call, uh, the call as well as the vehicle in question. Um, a felony stop was conducted at which point, um, right before the felony stop was uh, conducted, you know, vehicles pulled over 11, on the side. Rami hopped out of the vehicle, as did uh, Randy. They smoked up and jumped inside the car. Um, seats is on I repeat there. that. Who who did what? Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get this all Randy down. Rami and Randy did. Now, okay, who, what was their positioning exactly? So Rami was originally the driver, and Randy was originally the passenger. Um, I I saw them through the windshield originally. They did not have a mask on at the time. Uh, when I then pulled them over, Rami hopped out maskless. Randy hopped out with a mask wearing the same clothes that he was wearing the same thing i saw him uh he was wearing the same clothes as he was originally wearing when i id'd him uh you know 30 seconds a minute prior except this time he had a mask on so Echo no reason for me to believe it was another individual not to mention they both hopped out of uh you know the front doors um we then conducted a uh, felony stop after which shots began to be fired class one weapons uh immediate 78s were called i believe ziggy went down uh another officer went down and unfortunately uh we just sort of got went down one at a time i tried to stay on them as long as i could shooting at the tires hoping that i could disable the vehicle in some fashion until backup arrived uh just unfortunately it didn't arrive soon enough i somewhat regret not shooting at the individuals instead since uh you know i think i was able to lay on them for a good five ten minutes or so got it okay so uh i'm gonna now after this had taken place i'm on the ground uh, most of us are on the ground. I think Vale was still up, as was Wrangler. Um, I felt my body moving towards the beach. Um, I was somewhat yeah, conscious. Yeah, so I can, I can clarify from mm -hmm. here if you like. Please. So I grabbed Knight from the side of the road. I, I, I quickly ran a knife back onto his wounds, you know, you know, bandaged what I could, got him down to the EMS in my vehicle, uh, left him at the EMS, at which point those individuals came back in the same Subaru um engaged me i drove into the water and swam out to the west i swam a decent ways out they continued shooting at me i eventually headed north came back up onto the uh back up onto the coastline um and slowly moved towards the the resort while trying to coordinate other officers um at this point you know we had multiple 13s down on the beach and th th they weren't giving up this vehicle was not giving up i i was on the roof of the re resort for a good long while and then out of the blue, they climbed the roof, came up and shot me. Um, I have photos of the scene. The casings on scene match back to report 3715. So the person that shot me was the same person from uh, that shot me earlier in the day. Um, it, it He was dressed exactly the same as Rami, but he had a mask on. So, you know, same, same casings and such. I unfortunately, I just came on duty. And then I responded to the 77s out of Great Ocean. You guys had the Subaru pulled over and I got shot. That was, that was my entire involvement. Okay, so... Did let me... me. Yeah, that, what'd you get robbed of? It, it was $1,900. Anyone other than Vale is a PD weapon? Uh, I did. You did? Yes. I did not. Okay. No, uh, so, uh, Vale um, or Brian, either of you two, write up a police report um, yeah, and ensure that both 
uh, weapons are listed. Uh, reason for that is uh, yeah. if we catch an individual with either of those two firearms, um, there's still one outstanding and we'd have reason to go through their properties. Um, yep. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Whereas if it was just a single weapon stolen, once we recover it, we have no reason to believe they'd have anything else. So, yeah, I'm um, writing the report up right now. One, uh, two things uh, to note here. So here's how, I, here, here's how I break it down. And given that Vale is really the only other officer uh, who's seen the entire thing. <clears throat> the vehicle is in is is suspect, right? Um, uh huh. Given that we did not have what is what's the phrase called? Uh, it, it's custody, like visual custody of that vehicle. Chain between of custody. The, yeah, chain of custody. Uh, well, chain of custody much. is more with the with the evidence provided after the scene. Yep, okay. uh, we'll get to the, let's get to the evidence in a right, moment. Right, right, well, that's what changed, yeah, gotcha. But so, we had the Subi originally uh, with the kidnapping. No one was identified. Subi was seen again with the Randy, Randy, Rami, and two individuals. We know damn well it's probably the same four guys. Now, now right. so now the question becomes, how do we connect those two? And, and Vil, you wanted to say evidence. Yeah. Uh, Troy's body and the evidence. They kidnapped Troy in that Subaru, and mm -hmm. then that Subaru is surreptitiously circling the area where the EMS are picking up Troy's body. That is that is a chain of custody. That is motive to remain on scene to engage with officers for whatever reason. Agreed. They were still in the area when we recovered Troy's body from the water. That is your chain of custody right there. So All right. So let me just let me just get this straight. So I want to make sure that I have everything correct. Socratic Brian, you said you were right talking there. with Bailey. You were approached by Vale saying that there's a situation taking place. Uh, Cho was taking that gunpoint with four masked individuals that hopped into a red Subaru. You got into a chase. The chase went on for five or ten to fifteen minutes, along with another uh, two-door muscle vehicle. Um, chase ensued. Car was pitted. Uh, specifically, the muscle car. Um, you guys then continued the chase with the Subaru. They managed to evade PD along with the person uh, inside the muscle vehicle. Um, there is an, I, I, I've got this all written down, by the way. So if, if you need me to stop, I can stop at any point. I won't lose my train of thought. There's an island wide hunt, uh, for the location to Dr. Choi. There are numerous attempts or numerous attempts were made to contact Choi, but calls were immediately hung up. Uh, search for nearly an hour. Uh, the most that came out of it was the muscle car abandoned it's, it's at the movie studio. It's not going to be enough though. Uh, eventually okay, nine-one call. And it's I'll tell you, cat. I'll break it down for you okay, after perfect. the fact. Uh, yeah, it's 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 not that. Uh, do we? So the, oh, go ahead. I heard something about casings. What? We go back. So to that? reports three seven fifteen. Um, the the most recent report posted by me, dark. where I was chasing the vehicle from the moment they kidnapped Troy uh, to when transport. they went. Like I stayed on that vehicle uh, pretty much throughout. My twenty and uh, transport. You know when it went over Elysian Fields and back and forth and back and forth and and you know. So, I, I I was on that vehicle throughout. Then it went into the alleyway behind PDM and mm -hmm. opened fire on me. The person that then opened fire on me on the roof of the resort that I just went back to get the casings and mm -hmm. photo for because mm -hmm. they stole my AR, it's the same casings. I see. So the first incident with the kidnapping, those casings match with the casings found at the resort. One casing was found at the resort. It is exactly the same casing that was sh I was shot with it. You know, it matches the gun that I was shot with earlier on. Mm. All right. Um, so, again, the the most thing that came out of it was the coquette abandoned the movie studio. Then a nine one one call came in by the Beachside Resort, uh, which night you said was called Pacific Bluffs, uh, saying there's a mm -hmm. body that seemed to be dead. Uh, you were one of the first units to respond. Um, eventually, oh, wait. Oh, uh, then you saw a Subaru seven, heading uh, northbound. Seven, 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 um, you pulled back a bit, ran the plates, it came back to the same owners. The uh, other Subaru that you guys had encountered, uh, Randy Bullet and Rami were in the vehicle. Rami was driving and Randy was the passenger. Uh, you had no eyes on the individuals in the back. Called for immediate backup given the vehicle uh, it was the same one in question uh, from the prior incident. Felony stop was conducted. Rami was a driver, again, Randy passenger. You saw through the windshield, or you saw them both through the windshield without masks. Um, when they were pulled over, Rami. Wait one second. Yes. 
is like going real far in my notes. <laughs> uh, Rami pulled out a mask. Randy hopped out with a mask, this time wearing the exact same clothes that you saw him wearing earlier, um, where you identified him about 30 seconds to a minute prior. Uh, but again, this time with a mask. And there's no reason to believe it was another individual. Uh, both hopped out the front doors, which you had seen them both in prior to. I uh, conducted the felony stop, at which point shots began to be fired uh, with class ones. Um, you guys request immediate or immediate 78. Ziggy went down alongside another officer. Uh, you tried to stay with him for as long as possible, pennies, but unfortunately backup didn't, didn't arrive soon enough. On and after this took place, uh, you were shot down. Uh, Vale is still up, uh, as well as Wrangler. And then Knight felt, or you felt that your body was being moved towards the beach, uh, while you were sort of in and out of consciousness. And then Vale, uh... You stated that you grabbed Knight, used an IFAC uh, the best that you could um, to try to get him, that, you know, medical attention. Yeah, like you got him over to up. EMS. You left him with EMS, and then the individuals came back in the Subaru, engaged with you, where you then drove your vehicle into the or the water, swam west. Um, you guys, or you then headed north, uh, went to the coastline, moved towards the resort while trying to coordinate uh, with other officers. There were multiple 1013s on the beach, uh, and the individuals kept pursuing. Um, you're on the roof for a good while, they climbed the roof and then shot you, and then the casings that were on the roof that you just found, given their AR was stolen, matched the casings from the prior report that you wrote. Direct. Okay, am I missing anything of importance here? Knight, you said your AR was stolen as well. 10-4. What's your, um, what's your serial number? It's gonna be, uh, 195. 195, that's your serial number. 10095. Okay, please, please don't ever say 100. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, they get real Okay, confusing. reports up. Go ahead and, uh, if you want to take a look at that road, see if that's everything. Okay, so uh, the plan of action here. I, I agree with you, Vale, that the... I agree that Echo the motive pins Papa, these guys on it, right? At some level, there's a complacency here, or a, 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 they were complacent. They were likely complicit in the crime. Rami and Randy. Uh, the problem here is going to be that we're going to need that gun on them. Right? Right. Yeah. That's... And so that's going to mean a bolo for those two. Um, an attempt to detain and look at their weaponry. Now, there's another angle we can go at with this, which is raiding their properties. That is correct. However, you also have to take into account that um, I believe you had stated there were four individuals. You can only identify two, mm -hmm. which means there's a 50% chance that neither of the two people we go after has it. Exactly. Less of a chance because they probably have a can we, separate place to put it. Could we... Um, this is 100% this is compromising medical neutrality, right? I'm sorry. I mean, they were they were attacking EMS. They were ramming. I uh, well, I EMS's specifically vehicles. asked EMS when I was searching for 1013s, and they specifically stated that uh, they were not actively pursued. If they were actively pursued, uh, I I could see that. But if EMS themselves mm. are telling me like they were on scene but not actively shot at, at least directly, um, I don't. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't necessarily know. Isn't Dr. Choi covered into compromising medical neutrality? Was she on duty? I do not know, actually. Uh, she, I mean, she was wearing her standard scrubs that she normally wears, white jacket yeah. and all that. Uh, that that could be that could be the case. Could be the case. The dispatch that was on duty, Chet, uh, said he took a report. But he, there's no report filed, but he said he took a report from Choi uh, prior to her kidnapping. There were multiple dispatch there at the time, actually. If I was, I do old, have a question. If I was did old Brian, any, I'd be like, listen, um, I'm just interested in Did any of the Rami. individuals involved go down <laughs> other than uh, PD? I'm not convinced nope. we have enough okay. to really push um, this. And were they in the vehicle the entire... How? Were they in the vehicle the entire time? Other than when they shot me, yes. But uh, I didn't even get a, get a shot off. I was basically shot in the back. Okay, got it. For all intents and purposes, um, this is a no, everyday know. situation. If uh, unless Choi dies, but yeah. Um, if you want to add yeah. anything to that so, report, here, here um, mm -hmm, yep. Yeah, so can, here's here's what I'm mulling in my head, and I'm just gonna be, uh, I'm just gonna blunt. Yeah, say it. Blunt. Um, I always forget. We don't have we don't have enough to do jack shit. 
uh, outside of rating for these ARs because what transpired today is a carbon copy of what happens every day, right? I'm imagining how this would be presented in court, which would be very difficult to argue. Now, the the one piece that's got me sort of looking in both directions or, or sort of like contemplating this with any level of um, whether it's worth our effort here is the condition of Dr. Choi. And if she is indeed critical, then it behooves us to make sure that justice is served because if she dies, that's on us. We have something. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. If it was a situation in which, you know, Choi was, you know, expected to recover and, and be fine, I, I see where you're coming from. Because um, otherwise, what, what what happens here is that weapon, we're probably not going to get, right? We can do the bolo, absolutely. we're going to get shot up. If we uh, go and if we if we go and get the weapon, I mean... I, I, I'm even, even with weapons and casings getting put together, it, it, it becomes a battle in court, right? And and this mm -hmm. is not to undermine the shooting, but rather to, I'm painting reality here, right? If we, the thing is, we're gonna pitch, we're gonna pick Rami up sooner or later with that pistol, mm -hmm. right? Yep. We're gonna, we're gonna pick him up sooner or later with that pistol, because this happens all the time. They don't throw this shit away, right? They will, they will carry a hot gun to the end of the fucking earth. Yep. So Here's if we, thing, if we, so if that's that the case, point, it's only a matter of time. When we get You've that pistol, from scene then one we can articulate to, to kick his doors down. Yeah. Link from scene one to scene two. You got visual represent, you know, visual ID on two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, if one of which them, has um, warrants, by the way. I'm looking, okay. Rennie has two active warrants. Yeah, right, right. So you find the gun on either one of them. That's plenty of PC to find it further. Uh, 100%. I, I honestly... I honestly think you have enough with the visual representation for for what specifically for the, the kidnapping the ID. or uh, maybe not the I don't know about the Choi we, thing. We have enough for least... attempted murder of an LEO. Yes, yeah, right? that's kind of where I was going. Uh, mm -hmm. We that, have enough memory. to uh, get a raid warrant. Raid um, warrant. Mm. I mean, why why would we not have enough for a raid warrant? So I'm not, I'm not recommending. Just to be clear, I'm not recommending we raid. Uh just hypothetically yeah, uh, hypothetically. yeah, yeah. Are we, I, I, I how much do we from. really need to go with something like that uh i mean if you're 100 percent telling me right now that you saw crazy. rami and randy both without masks mm -hmm. and then Ran or rami gets out still doesn't have a mask randy gets out dressed the same way but with the mask right those two 100 percent no questions asked we could we could do something with if and and here's where i i would say this gets a little tricky because i personally wouldn't sign off on a warrant unless one of those two individuals specifically were the individuals who took the weapons now again right. if Agreed. there were other individuals involved in the situation we could get search and seizure warrants for both of those individuals and there's still a 50 percent chance that neither of them have it I, I, I absolutely. Well, I think we have PC for a raid. I don't think it's worth doing the raid, quite frankly. Probably uh, not. Unless we felt like that raid would completely materialize into, let's say, uh, finding somebody who murdered. Oh, if we were looking for a murder weapon or something. So. Maybe another way to put it is we have these two tools available to us. Are we going to use these tools? Got it. Rose, I, I would say. What's up? Uh, the, the individual that took my AR was the same individual that got out of the car with a mask, but with a mask on. Please hold. So mm. same situation uh, as Randy, but you said with Rami yeah, this Ra time. Rami got out without a mask on, and then the individual that robbed me was wearing the black trousers, black shoes, black top that Rami Echo wears, uh, the blue scarf that Rami wears, but with a mask on. Got it. And he sounded like Rami when he said, you ran straight past her to the other individual. Hmm. And just to verify, that is mentioned in your report, right? Yeah. In terms yeah, of the so description the, the, of the individual. The report is up. If anybody wants to add to that report, please feel free. R Brian, especially with regards to when your PDAR was stolen. Right. It would be good to have that in there. 
Okay, so um, I'm gonna need you to refile your. Uh, Seven Senate. I need you to refile your uh, civilian be, uh, report. Um, the, the thing is, right now, so we we know the uh, serial of the gun, right? But we don't know the remainder of the information. Um, my suggestion is going to be either to so. For yours, it's going to be 7422. For Knights, it's going to be 10095, oh, right? Chat. However, if it's not on can the evidence field, it's going to be very my, difficult to can track. Someone get my clips ready. Um, I think my yep, suggestion is going to be to Reddit just put uh, 7422 dash, let's say, okay. XX, maybe not XX. Yes. Uh, we can put 000 you know. dash 000. So if we at least search for 7422, oh, uh, okay. um, it, it still comes up with something. Yeah. What the fuck? Medi, okay. Das right, Medi CGA. Letting Chang go again. Uh, that way, <laughs> let me see. Hey, we were yeah, think... You just walked away, and now you're limping. I've been limping, all right. Hey, bro, why there's is a doctor out there. He Chang looks like a doctor. You, say, you, you wanted to talk to him? Huh? What? I was talking to Brian. Oh. Huh? What? There's <laughs> a there's a guy who looks like a doctor or a nurse out there. Said you needed to talk to yeah, him. Yeah, I need to talk to him. He's under threat as well. All right. You want me to just have him hang out in the lobby, or yeah, yeah, have him uh, all right, all right. speak to him and uh, just. I, I don't want to. I don't want to keep everyone tied up for too much longer. Right, um, I guess the the TLDR right. is, all right. so we have this, enough, this, this but it's not files, worth so. doing anything with what we have right now. However, if any of those two go. individuals, just, at least those two individuals, show right, up right here. with so that gun at a later time, then that's when it's going to be, you know, raid season. So can confirm, um, yeah. there's not that many civ reports for either mine or Brian's. It should be fine to uh, just put 7421 yeah. in. Um, yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, just so that <laughs> in the evidence field, we can at least search for that specific serial without having to look for every OIS with weapons stolen. All right, so uh, just, I guess one thing, um, so should we target should we target randy and rami try to get those warrants executed in the um, hope to attempt to do this so i, I don't run it, i don't run into them frequently so my question for you is when they are found with hot weapons is it directly after they've committed the crime or is it days oh, it if not weeks later it, it really depends yeah okay i mean if we get the visual id and then we find them um, you know two weeks later with the same gun then yeah i would say that's enough if uh you know they just did a job like if 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 someone just did a job and then two weeks later we find the gun on somebody and they're like we got it from someone else then maybe not because you know obviously they, there's a lot of time in between where that gun could have traded hands but uh yeah that's, well, that's I, my I, thought I mean, if we catch another person with that firearm i don't think that's enough but if we catch randy or uh, you know any any Chang gang, I guess, with that firearm. Oh, Preferably Rami himself with it, then you know we can definitely. Uh... Yeah. Echo seven twenty two billbox. Like big big pieces of evidence to link them. Yeah, I would absolutely. say are important. I'd say yep. I don't know about you guys, but I think two's right, probably. It's time to it's time to break off this visual ID and weapon in hand or an associate for sure. Yeah, one one hundred percent. I can agree with you on that. So we've got two scenes with that. Sarge, do you think those two reports link up with each other well enough? Um, uh, let me, let me go through, through them, them one but... second. Well, one of them is quite brief. So, Choi was kidnapped from outside MRPD by a uh, masked man in a red super that returned to Charles Johnson. It attempted to evade 660, but was uh, unsuccessful over a long chase where she maintained eyes on the vehicle throughout. Eventually attempted to murder Vale by leading her into an alley near PDM and then opening fire. They were again unsuccessful. Two sink casings were found unseen, and they fled the scene. Um, and then you have both of those weapons on scene. Um, Echo 7, 10, 8. We then have the other report where officers engage, or engaged in an uh, island-wide search for Choi. Oh, Steve a call for sorry, body. Man. We've gone through all this, essentially. Um, they was forced into the ocean under heavy fire, blah, blah, blah. Um, climbed up to the roof with another individual, and the Rami but masked individual shot Vale with a suppressed pistol. Uh, he stole her PDAR and fled the scene. Um, so, here's... Here's the thing. Um, I'm ready to move on. There's no mention of. Wait, did you specifically state Rami was involved in the first situation? Uh, no. Negative. 
Okay, all right. So, yes, um, I would say that there there is some aspect of, you know, uh, connecting dots, if you will, here on the basis that Choi was the subject of the first situation, right? Then there was that Subaru that came back to Charles Johnson. Then you guys are responding to a call about Choi, if I recall correctly, and then you run into the vehicle again. So, yeah, I would, and, and especially if the casings match, 100%. There's definitely, um... You've you've connected dots successfully, is is what I'm trying to get across here. Nice. Also, good shit on the report. Thank you, Saj. Um, so if if you do see um any of those individuals, I mean, uh, actually, I think one of Randy's warrants just expired, so I don't, I don't see it anymore. But Randy has a warrant. Um, you'll likely find him with. Uh, Chang, who has a warrant. Um, holy shit, Eugene has so many warrants. What the fuck? Repeated evading. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. I didn't have much yeah, in this I'm gonna, one. I'm gonna do yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm gonna I'll add to the report. Um, I'll check on uh, Choi's condition momentarily. Hello? Got it. 